Hey guys, and welcome to the summit. If you hear any slurping in the background, the tiny one is drinking a bottle. So I feel like I've been neglecting the Blu-ray updates. And I know one here five days ago isn't very long, but for me that's like an eternity. I actually have picked up a lot of Blu-rays, and that's why I'm doing this video right here. This massive Blu-ray update is 14 Blu-rays. Oh my god, it needed summit treatment. Like I said, I feel like I've been neglecting Blu-ray quests. The only person that can judge me now is Big Block Blu-ray. He's the president of the Bluetooth. If you don't understand that, that's an inside joke. Check out Big Block Blu-ray if you haven't checked him out. He has awesome videos. And also at the end of this video, I have a really special surprise for you guys, so stick around for the end. So with that said, let's just jump into the Blu-rays. First up, we got a metal pack. I've been seeing this at Target for a long time. I've seen it for over a year, and I never picked this up. J.J. Abrams, Super 8, executive produced by Steven Spielberg. Uh, blah, blah. Executive produced by Steven Spiel, uh, Spielberg. 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 Executive produced by Steven Spielberg. I don't know why that was so hard to say. Anyway, it's one of those collector's edition metal packs. It's pretty badass, and uh, I'm glad that I finally have this movie in my collection. I saw it a couple times with slip, without slip, and I don't really like the without slip version. And I knew that Target was still doing their metal pack, so I went and picked it up. Glad that I have it on Metal Pack. The next one I picked up is a Best Buy title, and you know, I have to thank the camera lady for this one. Blues Brothers Steelbook. I got this for $4.99 at Best Buy, and I couldn't, I just could not get this. It's one of those things where you have to get it. And I picked it up. I remember watching the Blues Brothers back in the day. I actually really like the sequel a little bit more than the original, but it's $5 and it's a Steelbook. Why would I not get this movie? From Hell, starring Johnny Depp and Heather Graham. A little underrated movie, in my opinion. They don't talk about this movie anymore. It's about a detective trying to find Jack the Ripper. He's addicted to opium. And it's a, yeah, like I said, a really underrated movie. An underrated performance by Johnny Depp. I'm actually trying to pick up all of Johnny Depp's more traditional acting roles. Like, I got The Ninth Gate, Secret Window. And this is just another classic, in my opinion, from him, and just proves that he is an actual actor. Next movie I picked up is going to be added to my Nicolas Cage collection. And yeah, I got another Michael Bay movie. The Rock. Starring Nicolas Cage, Sean Connery, and Ed Harris. Directed by Michael Bay. So the next one, I just, I had to bring the bean over for this one. Hotel Transylvania. Wow, just a ton of really funny people in it. Adam Sandler, the last watchable performance from Adam Sandler, and he's not even really in the movie. And you can't wait to watch it. Excuse you, that really smells. Oh god. Okay, Hotel Transylvania. The next movie I picked up is another Best Buy title, The Guest with Slip and the Blu-rays trying to fall out of the thing. Yeah, I don't like that when it just kind of falls right out of there. But anyway, I heard that this, you know, harkens back to the 80s action movies and... I love those. You know that. I am a huge, huge fan of 80s and 90s action movies. Dan Stevens is the man. You know, I loved him in Secret of the Tomb. And can't wait to watch him in this. And yeah, Best Buy has it for like 10 bucks. Go ahead and check it out if you haven't seen it. The next one. I literally just went to FYE and they didn't have it. I went back to FYE and they had it. My Bloody Valentine 3D. And this is a kind of a special one to me because it has Jensen Eccles from Supernatural and he's one of my favorite actors on TV. And that means that I have both movies that Jared Padalecki and Jensen Eccles have done. I have Friday the 13th, the remake, and My Bloody Valentine 3D. Now I bought this used and I didn't think it would come with the 3D glasses. It totally does. Yeah, 3D glasses. And if you read the side, Saw 6 is coming out soon. The next movie I got is an FYE pickup. I got The Devil's Rejects, uh, directed by Rob Zombie, one of my favorite horror movies. Really like Sherry Moon Zombie, Sid Hag is just a horror legend at this point. And every time I look at this, it makes me want to go get that uh, Lords of Salem steelbook. And I definitely, definitely really want to get it now. Along with House of a Thousand Corpses and the Halloween remakes. I'm so far behind, I need those. Don't you like clowns? The next line out of your mouth better be some fucking Mark Twain shit. <laughs> next up is another Best Buy pickup, and it's another Nicolas Cage film. Next, starring Julianne Moore, Nicolas Cage, and Jessica Biel. I vaguely remember watching this on TV, and it was kind of like a generic action movie, but still, it's Nicolas Cage, 
and it's going right in my collection. Next up is a Walmart pickup. I got the Amore version of Interstellar. I, I still don't know what I'm going to do with this because I know that Target has it for the same price with Slip. But there was one thing that I didn't think that would come with this is the IMAX film stock. I thought that was just for like the steel books or something, but it's actually in the regular Amore version without Slip. So if you get that, you still get the collectible film stock. So that's pretty awesome. <clears throat> okay, next up. Next up we have Dragon Ball Evolution. I did not buy this movie, and I'm just going to just... One serious note, that was a gag gift, and if you haven't seen it yet, it's probably already up because I did that video before this. I did a complete review of Dragon Ball Evolution with the camera lady. Things get weird, things get angry. It's just a good time, so if you haven't checked it out, check that video out. It's a good time, we worked really hard on it. It's the longest video I've ever done. I definitely have our Dragon Ball Resurrection F review, which will be 15,000 fucking times better than that. Okay, next up. Next up is another Best Buy title. We got Mike Myers' Cat in the Hat, the last live-action Dr. Seuss movie, and pretty much the last one. They said after this one came out that there will be no more. Uh, this was a film that we picked up for The Bean, just for her to watch and for me to put in the Blu-ray collection. And every time I look at this, I wish I was holding the Grinch. Now we got a movie that's part of the Camera Ladies Blu-ray collection in with mine. It's a movie that I really like. It's hilarious. And everybody knows the songs from this movie. If you don't know the songs, South Park, Bigger, Longer, and Uncut. Just, that's all I have to say. Alright, now, the last two pickups I have are the last two Walmart pickups. I have Grease, starring, uh, wow, that's a wrong movie. Grease, starring... Tom Cruise, directed by... Tom Cruise with short hair or long hair? <laughs> In all seriousness, I have MI3, directed by J.J. Abrams, starring Tom Cruise. Okay, guys, I know, it's a long video. The last one I have for you is the last Walmart pickup. Olivia Newton-John, John Travolta, Grease. The Rockin' Rydell edition. I didn't know that there was such a thing, but that's pretty awesome. And, uh, I love this movie. Camera Lady was just watching it the other day, and I just so happened to dig my hand way down into that $7 bin at Walmart, and that sounds really dirty. I found Grease. I'm extremely excited to watch it on Blu-ray, and I've watched some of the collectors, and they don't own this movie. Why? It's awesome. It's an American classic. Get Greasy. Get Greasy. <laughs> Get greasy! Okay guys, so you waited patiently the entire time on to the special part of the video. I'm going to start utilizing my Twitter page for more than just resharing my videos. I want to start giving away my digital downloads. I don't watch them, I don't use them, and they just collect dust. So, the first one I'm going to give away is my Interstellar digital download. Now, all you need to do is just go to my Twitter page, the link is in the description box right down there. After this video is posted, I will put up the picture from the digital download on my Twitter page. All you need to do is click the link in the description box, the Interstellar Digital Download link on my Twitter page. The first one that gets it, gets it. And if people like that, I'll start giving away more of them. That's exactly what I want to do because I don't watch them, that, like I said. That's exactly what I want to do because I don't watch them, like I said. And I guess that's been it for this update video. Like I said, if you haven't checked out my Dragon Ball Evolution review, go ahead and check that out. We tried really hard on that. And stay tuned for that Dragon Ball Resurrection F movie review because I can't wait to talk about that. And yeah, I guess that's been it for this Blu-ray update. So until next time, this has been Zack versus the Blu-ray Mountain. Stay metal, my friends.